it. Guys, yeah. It's good a new morning. vlog. Happy Monday. We're in a really good mood because it's sunny. We're really happy. It's sunny. We've just got our photos. Bye, and, Celine. And loving you. Cheers. That's our favourite background, Celine. And this is the Dior that's in Sex and the City. Such nice weather. I think there is a, caf a Dior cafe. Yeah, it's just a gallery. We're going to go and have a look but at it. We'll go and investigate. Um, but we're in a really good mood yeah. and we have a meeting with our manager later today which we're very intrigued for and also we have a tiktok that's gone viral and, and we back on us so need to talk about basically this. none of our tiktoks have done if we're being real none of our tiktoks have like done that well no. since moving to paris which we've been fine with like it happens it happens but, but there's been um strikes the bin men went on strike so paris is very little at the moment so we, we thought it was funny to like film like an emily paris sound front of the street yeah, it's rubbish there's one that's gone viral of emily like a scene of emily in paris like taking a selfie and basically a three second tiktok that we made with rubbish has, has gone viral got three million views overnight so and we've ended up on some like parisian instagram accounts so yeah. which is really funny but yeah um i think we're gonna have a little look in dior and then there's a What's it called? The shopping centre? Um, it's called Kith. Kith. <laughs> Kith. So we're going to try and go in there as well. Um, um, but we're going to have a little look into your maybe. Yeah. Hopefully they let us in. Sometimes it'll be a bit funny. But I mean, it looks... It's very grand. It's probably the biggest Dior I've seen. Yeah. Okay, updates. We, we had a meeting. Vlogged. We have. <laughs> we, we haven't vlogged. vlogged. Because all we did was look round Dior, which was insane. And then we came home. We had a meeting. Rent our PO box. Oh yeah, I went to the PO box. We had to rustle up the most random dinners. Like I literally had avocado and eggs for dinner. And Grace had egg I on had toast. I had egg on toast. You just had a solid egg. I had an egg with some avocado. I don't know why you didn't just have a baguette. It's so rank. I had apple with mine as well, which is like... Eggs with apple. Slightly wrong. But we're watching the Love Island reunion. Just as I thought we were done with Love Island. It's back. The reunion's always shit, but we feel like we might still watch it. Yeah, we're gonna watch it and just see what happens. Hey, it's Good a morning. new day. Um, we're heading to go get coffee at one of our favourite spots with a view of the Louvre. Um, should we show our looks? Okay. Oh my god, you've got the cafe kits. You should have saved it for cafe kits. That's, that's too cheeky. That's too much. Grace's got blazer on. I've got this. It's got like a massive flower on it. And some jeans. On a lovely walk, we're walking 40 minutes because, you know, get the steps in. And I actually know the route off by heart now because oh I've done it God. so many times. I'm like, so Grace not, just follows me. I'm like, just not with it with direction. No. But yeah, we're heading and we're excited for a coffee. And later today, we might have an interview with BuzzFeed, which is so weird. Yeah, it's about, it is about rubbish. So that's <laughs> really weird. That's fun. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see you that later. We've got our coffee and we've got our gorgeous views. Oh, we're so hungry. We're so hungry. So <laughs> thirsty for cappuccino. Such a good cappuccino as well. On our walk home and I love coffee. So I'm going on a date tonight as well. Which is really random. The vlog is so sweet here because every week we say we're going on a date so it never happen. But because they flake. They flake. But I think when it's planned on the day, it normally does happen. Yeah. So she's got but I also date. feel, I feel like boys and flaky, so I don't know. But um, you've got a time and a place. Yeah, so I feel like it is happening. Um, we've got our BuzzFeed interview within an hour. And then I'm gonna get my nails done. And then she's going out. And yeah. I'm gonna get a McDonald's. I'm really excited. I'm going on my first date in Paris. Our girl is off. I'm so nervous. It's not even like we've got any alcohol and the... No, but you don't want to get too drunk. No, no. You don't want to pre-drink. That can be a mistake that gets made. I'm ordering a McDonald's. What are you going to order? I've got a McWrap veggie with chips, a Coke and a Dame McFlurry. Because, oh, guys, I, I am so hungry. There's I'm... actually nothing in the fridge. I've All I've eaten today is raisins. This is, like, our only option. So. I'm trying to get a new bar. I can tell you're stressed because you're, you've got, like, shortness of breath. What can I do to like chill myself out? We'll just be like it's not that deep. If he doesn't like you or you don't like him, you have to see him again. No, it's really not that deep, is it? Like Paris is so random. But yeah, guys, she's off. She'll let you know tomorrow how it goes. This is goodbye. This is simply see you later. The next, like the next clip you see, Grace, she will be I, back. I would have done with the depth. But to be fair, I, I keep saying I'm stressed, but like I. It's not as deep. It's not actually that deep. Grace is gone. 
she's gone on her date. He's come straight from the gym, which is kind of getting smelly, but I thought I'd show you guys what I got from McDonald's. I'm so hungry. I actually feel a bit ill. Oh, it looks amazing. Okay, we have a Coke Zero, which is spilt. We have a Dane McFlurry. I had to get one of these because these are the best thing I've ever had. They also have Lotus, but I'm such a whore for the Dame. And they give you so much chocolate syrup. I thought last time they gave me a lot it was just like luck. But, oh my God, the fact this has the same amount, it's giving hope. I'm going to put that in the fridge. And then, the main event, I've got barbecue and then there's this sauce called creamy deluxe which you can only get here i think i mean i've never heard of it in the uk and we got chips and then i got their veggie wrap which if you guys have never had this before it is the best thing i've ever had from mcdonald's so i don't actually know what it's called muck, just muck wrap not the goat's cheese one that makes you feel physically ill <coughs> But yeah, I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to watch Hunger Games because Hunger Games, Twilight and Divergent are my like safe spaces as well as Maze Runner, but that's really boring information. So now I'm going to watch Hunger Games because that's just what makes me happy. Morning! Morning! So, <laughs> Grace went on a date. I went on the date and... Grace out of 10. That's all you've got to say. I don't want to give too much information because you don't know if like, they'll watch it. It's hard because it was a, it was a really good and like interesting day, but I don't I think it's going to go anywhere. Um, I would rate it an eight. Is it a second date? Probably not. So yeah, I've not even heard about it. But yeah, I've said basically we're going out for lunch. So me and Grace like to save our going? debriefs. We're going cafe. to a cafe called... We'll show you the outside. It's Cafe Nimbus C. It was on Claire Rose's like um, Instagram travel. guide, like the food. Oh, I've got burrata on the menu. Yeah, and we've run out of food at home. <laughs> Hence why I had the McDonald's. I'm eyeing up what cereal I'm going to get. I love the look of this kind of cereal. Six euros? It's fucking expensive. Like this like crispy, like, but then it does give you toothache. Y'all already know. <laughs> <laughs> that this is really... Yeah, but I know this is what you're going to end up going yeah, for. It something is. really boring. Why don't you go for that though? Even this, I know this is really dead, but I love corn. Oh, uh, they look really like flavourless. Guys, we're going to do a massive grocery shop tomorrow. Yeah. I'm so excited. Tomorrow's our move in day. <gasps> do you know what looks fun? These mini ones. Oh my god. Would you choose these or these? I would choose these. These, because they've got Nest Quick. They've got. Can we look at the other side? You know but then I love the Miel Pop. Go when we on. went to America, I bought one of these and it had all the American Aww. cereal on every day. I was like, cinnamon toast crunch, fruit food, and I just tried a different one every day and it was so much fun. I might actually have to buy them. Let's see. Oh my god, you get crunch. Cookie I've never crisp. had that. That's the elite. That's the elite. That's the elite. That's see, for me, elite. I prefer these over these. Never had that. I would. I, I wouldn't even eat that. I'd enjoy caramel. Yeah, no. I'd, I think I would enjoy that. So we lie in, because it looks like these. Like look. Oh my god. Elite. Elite. Never had. See, I don't Elite. like Cocoa Pops. I like all these three. I don't love them, but... I don't Frosties. love Frosties. Frosties. Oh, it's just the same. Frosties are my favourite. Boring. Anyway, what an interesting conversation. <laughs> so we're at our lovely lunch. And we have burrata. We have ham and bread. The bread is the man is so nice. Yeah. He's lovely. This is on the nicest It's called Cafe Compa. I'll put the name on the screen because I can't pronounce it properly. It's like such a stunning spot. Food is served. Grace has got polenta. I've never tried it and it's got like pesto. It smells amazing. And then I've got the duck, which looks so good. We're like very different parts. Yeah, we've gone for something different. So, yay. So guys, we have this chocolate and cranberry thing. It's like brownie pieces. And we've got this pavlova with apples. And pear. Cappuccino. Like chocolate. chocolate. And then he's brought He's up. given us some chocolate to take high back. He is such a sweet chef. Nice he's like Gabrielle from Emily in Paris. Okay guys, so a little update. It is our last night in the new apartment. I mean the old apartment. I mean this apartment. 
and we're packing up. I'm listening to a bit of Taylor Swift live covers because I'm desperate for tickets to her show. I've been like watching all the clips. Um, but Grace is going on a date tonight. How rogue. So, yeah, Grace has packed up one of her suitcases. Can I come in? I'm gonna have my Bridget Jones moment tonight. Mm hmm We will have to do it. Yeah, we have to go through it. To be fair, we should have just planned them on the same day. I know, but, yeah. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. We're gonna, are you gonna pack up any more or not? No. We've I'm got until 12 tomorrow. Oh my God. Seven o'clock, my, my date's in an hour. We actually um, walked past our new apartment today on our walk home, yeah. like coincidentally, and we, we're really happy with like... The location, it's a lot more, it's that location to everything. Yeah, we're like just... And it's bigger. Happy. She's got a date. She looks She's hot. Got a date. It's my look. This is like my, my date look. Grace's go-to. It's all black. Leather pants. Leather pants, these boots. They always get worn. Made for walking. I wear the same shirt every single time. Is this for a skims bodysuit? To be really fair, cool. I feel too... Actually, I don't even wear colour, but like, I feel so confident in black on a date. It's like I'm a spy. It's like a, a comfort blanket. Yeah, no it is, sure. So yeah, Grace is heading off. I think I'm going to carry on packing. i going to have a Bridget Jones Loki moment. Loki actually a long process. You know what, going on a date. Me an hour. No, oh, I thought you mean going on a date. No, going on a date is a fucking it's a lot of effort. process. But to... do you know what? I'm walking 10 minutes. I feel like you have to fancy them a lot to, to go on a date. That's with the them. reason I'm like so chill because I'm walking 10 minutes. I like it's so much more effort when you have to get like an Uber. Grace's date's really hot. <laughs> he's really hot, but he, he's a bit flaky, but I know he's not flaky. He's flaked before. I like told him off now, he's really scared of me. He, he she um basically cancelled half an hour before. I mean, he's lucky he's even getting a date. It's just because he's hot. Okay. He's looking like he my it. <laughs> Grace was like, not a good look. No, I literally was like, cancelling half an hour before. I literally put that's not a good look. Because I didn't think I was going to see him again. So I just thought I'm going to really like hand him his ass. And, and then, then she's like, actually, he's really handsome. Yeah, and I was like, oh, actually, I want to see him again. I want to see this man. Um, do you think, the trench or the other one? What do you feel hotter in? I, what looks nicer? But this is more classy, but that's more cool. So it's like... <gasps> He's on his way. Oh, it's, t it's hinged. Oh, <laughs> I would silence that. Actually, no, on my first date with someone, I had no. My second date, my hinge went off, and he just found it really funny. I think then, like, it gives him a bit of competition. Now I'm turning it off. Or that. I prefer the trench. <gasps> We'll see you guys Make tomorrow, your decision. We'll, we'll update you tomorrow. We we don't like to be as detailed as we used to be with dates because... We've realised that they watch it. We actually feel a bit bad and they probably watch it. We used so to rip them to shreds. We give like, you... <laughs> watch our blogs. Yeah, actually, it's kind of public on the internet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll give you a little, a little snippet of yeah, how it went. Tomorrow. Like a rating Just out of yes 10. No. I'd rate out 10 and if they'll enough. be seen again. Good morning. We can finally show you the apartment that we've been living in for the past month month of our life we're leaving in like literally as soon as we finish this clip so it's a goodbye this isn't good well this isn't see you later either no see you never see you never i'm not that sad to leave this apartment no i like it you guys it, will see why when we give you the tour why we're not that sad to leave it interesting mm. okay anyway here's our tour We've got a toilet. And this is our toilet, which is really unusual that the toilet is separate from the separate. bathroom. This is our hallway with all our luggage in it. It's so much sh like shit. Kitchen was actually really big. Well, Chris, some banana. Um, Yum. I think kitchen was really big. I think big, but also when we were in here together, cooking. It's like it was like how. Oh my god, you got to bring that. Oh yeah, Mina and Mabel. Oh my god, how can we? These are our friends from home. Dored. We've got a lovely fireplace, but as you guys can see, it's so dark it's because really dark. we've oh, never God. opened these. So we had to come in. I had to put on like eight lights to make it cute, but actually massive living room. We had a joint bathroom, which Grace never used because she actually had a sink in her room. So it was just like for showers. Yeah, I had like this cubby hole. Really big shower. One of the best actually from an Airbnb. Yeah. And then this was my room which was actually really big. I'm gonna miss this wardrobe space. But again, never opened this. So my room was always like pitch black. 
but I actually loved my room. But that was our apartment. So I, uh, the next one is an upgrade. We're really excited to see our next one. We're we have to wait two months for this vlog. Yes, yeah. <laughs> two months for, for a tour, tour of our next one. Because we're in this for two months. Yeah. But we're really excited for like a new change of scenery. Change of a scenery, new, new location, new bit to explore. Yeah. And I think we're literally going to get there. Not even unpack. I think we're going to do a grocery do a shop. Because we've not had groceries for like a week. So I'm really hungry. I'm starving. I've eaten, I've eaten like digestives today. That's it. After a lot of waiting around. And after a lot of stress with suitcases. We have checked in and it is insane. We're not going to show you too much. Just for safety it's reasons. It's so much nicer than our other one. But it's like, actually a joke. Should I show them the view? Sure. This is the view we have. This is our view. It's like day and night. Like this apartment is like four times the size of our other one. And we thought that was a good one. I was like really chuffed with that. But this is so beautiful. And oh my God, we can just wake up in the morning and see this. No more closed blinds. Yay. The vlog. Right, we've got a crisis. We've got, oh my God, Grace is naked. Um, guys, last time we spoke to you, we were moving out. Grace went on a second date. She enjoyed it. It was really fun. And now we've invited us to the club. She comes back at midnight. I'm in bed. She's like, <laughs> literally midnight. No, like actually midnight like, and I'm in bed. We about to go to sleep. She's like, oh, he's invited us out clubbing. The car's going to be here at and one. And then an after party. The car's gonna be here at one. And then my dress is broken, so I have nothing Grace's to wear. Grace's dress is broken. So we're having a little bit of a breakdown, but we just need to update you guys because it's so like chaotic of us that we're doing this. It's so not like us. And then this is like actually crazy of us. I know. <gasps> okay, I need right, to- Right, we need to what Grace is gonna wear, I and then we'll show you. Right, she's got an outfit, everyone. I found one. This lighting's on fleek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like stone cold sober because I was in my bed. Grace had like one cocktail. No, I don't feel drunk at all. But I feel like it's not even the situation that we need to go in drunk to. But we're kind of relaxed. I mean, for all we know, apparently the car's just gonna, a van actually, is just gonna turn up in 20 minutes. But I think he's gonna be in the van. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Have you given him our new address? Yeah. So imagine if you turned up to our old address. Oh no, he walked you home, didn't he? Yeah, he walked you home. How funny would, well it wouldn't be funny, it'd be a bit peak. But imagine if you turned up to our old address like waiting. And also this one's much nicer, so I feel less embarrassed with this look one. Look how funny you look. <laughs> it's like you've got like no neck and then you just this like William Shakespeare hair. I'm like, when do these rollers come out? Because we don't know when the cars, look, like, I need to find a wee, I need to like take pictures, I don't know. Just say text me when you're 10 minutes away. Yeah. It's a good We need a live tracker on this man. I need to put hair serum in. But he's not even seen my message about our address. So that means he's not put it in for you. But no. He's not left. Should I still say text me? Yeah, just say text me your 10 minutes away. <gasps> Guys, Grace hasn't even unpacked. My, all of my clothes are just on the floor. Like my, I had to ramsack my suitcase to find this dress. Like all my clothes are all over the floor. And she still needs to unpack and tan. Fake tan. This is so messy. She was like, I'm going to just do it after the club. I was like, what, at like four? We might be back at like, I mean, who knows? I've gonna, we're saying this is either going to be incredible or like a pile of shit. Like a really weird. We're night. either going to be back at like, I don't know, whenever and just be like, what the fuck was that? Or it's going to be one of those messy nights. Because it's already 1am. Like we never go out at 1am. Do you think I need to touch up my eyebrows or anything? Like, No. You sure? I don't anything, think so. Anything? I don't think so. I did. No. I mean, you it's guys, so messy French girl of ours. We might try and, I think we should try and film some clips on our phone. Yeah, 100%. To include in the vlog. But we'll try and film some clips. If not, you guys are going to get a full off, full debrief. off debrief. We'll debrief you on this one. Chaotic. We're going out. Have we vlogged at all today? Guys, you've not missed anything. We had the most, we need to like, we haven't got time to even speak to you guys because we're just like, on the edge, but last night was so chaotic. We were out until so 5 a.m., which is the latest we've ever done. The latest we've done this this year in Paris. Yeah, and um, it was crazy. We did period. It was a wild night. All I'm gonna say is that Grace saw someone she was meant to have a date with while she was on a date with someone else. Period. Chaotic. Chaotic. <laughs> Um, and all we've done today is loaf. Like, literally, literally, we have not left this apartment. No, not that I want to. Like, I literally love. This. We love this. Apartment. I love this space. Look, all we've done: Grace unpacked and fake tan. I don't even know what I've done today. 
but we have just laid around. So get us out. We're going to Gigi's, the bar. Is it really There's cool a bar. Bike. We've not seen the bar. So we're going to go for the bar and then we've got dinner at this other place. I don't know how we survived to not eat dinner until half ten. I don't know. I might collapse, but get those rollers out. <laughs> get those rollers out, girl. I hope we get into Gigi's, but I think we will. I don't think you can book it, so. No. Potluck. But if worse comes worse, we'll go next we'll, door. We'll go next door and there's also we can walk to the restaurant. There's a bar in the restaurant. We're fine. We'll see you guys at Gigi's. Bye. We're having a lovely drink at Who knew? Gigi. We're back. And this is good to know. Half nine is empty. Yeah. Because even if one day we can't get a table, we just had to come in for some pizza. It's just such a nice vibe. We can hear the live music as well. Guys, the restaurant is so cool. Good afternoon. Really good restaurant. I can't recommend it enough. Like it's kind of new. Really good food. Like the um truffle pizza. The truffle we went to this club called Castel. It was a really good club. Like that's actually uh, it's for me that's on par with Rasputin. Yeah, which we've not found anything similar to Rasputin yet. We just like the vibe in the crowd. And the music was actually better than Rasputin. Really good music. It was giving Paul's Casablanca. It was so much fun. And then we didn't get back late, we got back about three. Um, and we've had a nice lie-in, and then we're going to go to Zara. Yeah, we're going to head to Zara, just see if there's anything new. They have got all their summer stuff now. They have. So, yeah, and then we're out tonight with one of our friends that we met in Milan. And her friend. And her friend who we've never met, so we're a little bit nervous. Yes. To meet a new friend. You know what we're but like. We're going to be we, fine. Yeah, we get a bit nervous. We're going to go Cafe de Flore for drinks. Yep. Yeah. And also our friends have booked to come and see us. Yes, we're so excited. Archie and Sophie, they've booked to come and see us. Like we were saying, this apartment is going to be so iconic because we've got There's Sophie so many Archie. memories already made. Like our mums are coming next week and then my whole family is coming out and your dad. But also the, the past few days in this apartment, it's like this apartment has brought us like... It's brought us a new such lease of chaotic life. energy. Um, I feel like it's... Oh, well. <laughs> Not the apartment, but I just feel like in the past few days we've been way more spontaneous. Yeah. Would you agree? I just think it actually it's shows things. like how much your environment, like our last apartment, it was so dark because obviously we were like street views. We've told you guys. I feel so much, so much more positive. brighter. And, like I could stay in this apartment all day. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Like I'm like, oh, should we go out? But it, kind of we, we need to get some fresh air. Yeah. I'm, I'm a bit stuffy. We need a walk. We need the to get the steps in. Boiling. We don't, know, we don't know why pizza. it's this hot, but it's fucking boiling. It's really, I think it's hot because it's hot, like the heat rises. And it's so bright. Guys, it's fucking... But it's really hot. When we get home, we'll open some windows. Yeah. But we're going to head out. Also, I'm, oh, I'm organising my second date. For Wednesday. The mail. He's taking me for tea. That's so, like, British. But I'm really pleased. I can't, otherwise, I'm Does he mean dinners. actual tea? Does he mean... Yeah, because he said 5pm. Like, cake. Tea and cake. That's quite, quite oh, cute. It's, I mean, I've never been taken for tea, that's for sure. It's very posh. It's all very Greek. Very British. Anyway, we'll see you guys out. Just picking up a few bits. Guys, Zara's played this. They've played this song same song three times. I'm it. sick of it. I'm gonna get this floaty dress. Should I hold it up? Yes. See. I'm gonna get this bast to wear like under things. This stripy thing. And then this dress, which I think is really cute. But it's it really isn't my size. No, mine's a size too big, but. Do you think it'll be okay? Yeah. Guys, we're now back at the apartment. I'm going to do some arts and crafts. I'm going to cut my jeans because I hate the look when they're folded over. Are these going to cut through denim? That is the question. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Successful DIY. Guys, look how much I had to cut off to make them my size. This is a PSA. It's a public service announcement to all the brands out there. Start making your jeans for short people. They look so much better now. Race has got smooth on. Smooth radio. Smooth radio. 
We're going out for dinner. We're going out. These are our looks. We're kind of matching. Something. You know what? We are outfit repeaters and we're not embarrassed. I'm re wearing re -wearing my Nadine Merabee without the trousers. I'm redoing this look, but with a black blazer. Which you did in New York. <laughs> did New it in New York City. City. So we're really excited. We're, we're going gonna... to agree. Grace has curled her hair like differently. I blow dried it. It looks so nice. Instead of having it natural. So we'll take you guys along with us. We're meeting some friends. So. And we're going Cafe de Floor first. Yes, we're going for drinks, pre drinks. Why do you look so short? Oh, You've got slouched. platforms and I'm slouched. Oh my god, not my lit then. Was meet you at Cafe de Floor? Yeah! We're having drinks in our favourite place in the world. And we've got free crisps. Yeah. Which is the main thing. We're loving life. Morning everyone! It's not even morning, it's like five. It's like it's quarter to five. Guys, I'm literally a sloth. Grace hasn't seen them. She's like, I, just, I need fresh air. She's just sloughed <laughs> around. Um, we went to Cafe de Flore last night, which we really enjoyed. Oh my God, for drinks. It was so nice. I didn't really vlog the Greek restaurant, but I will add little clips of it. Yeah, it's because we went with some friends, so it, we weren't going to start being like, so, so guys, we've got some tzatziki. But the food was amazing. Oh my God, and it's really hard. Okay, we told our, you know, we always say like, in a, have we ever told the vlogs? In Paris, they call dancey restaurants. Festive. Festive restaurants. And that was festive. But like, we never got this because we were like, why do they call it festive? It's not Christmas. But that's what they call it. They call it a festive restaurant. We told this to our friend and she was like, it makes so much sense now. Like, so it was very, very festive. It was what we would call The festive. food was incredible. The baked feta. Oh my God. The dessert, like, but some, one of you guys messaged me and you were like, I went here with my boyfriend and it was really dead. Go, go to the late booking. You need to do the 10, <sighs> half 10, 10 booking. Don't do like 8 p.m. because it will be dead. Like it, it got busy, it got really buzzy at like 12. Yes. Everyone like sat and ate and then everyone got up at like it 12. It was really good food, really good vibes. Mamma Mia vibes, good music. And I feel like I, if I was gonna book it again, I'd book for 10 so you're not eating your dessert well done. Yeah, that was the only thing. Um, but it was really good, we had a good time. It was, I'd really recommend it. Saw like, our friends. When you go to festive restaurants, I'm gonna start using the word now. It's hard to get a place with good food. Normally, you just go somewhere. No, yeah, normally you go for the entertainment, not the food. Whereas this was both. And yes. last night, and then um, Friday nights. Both really good food. Yeah, all really good food. So, But yeah, and we also went clubbing. We just had such a weekend of it. Oh my God, the weekend's actually been brilliant. And now I'm going on a date. So intense. Just to add fuel to the fire. I'm just like, I don't even know what to do with myself. Because there's not really a movie. Look at her. I look Look at her legs. <laughs> She's just loafing. loafing. Watch a film. I'm not even hungry. Like, I don't even want to eat anything. I'm bloated. I, I had just, scrambled egg. I feel like, I, do you know what? I could have a bar. Yes. <gasps> I'm going to have a bar. I'll have a bar. I need Tidy to your room. Up. Have a refresh. Yeah, and I'm going to get your, you know your clothes for the week. I might like lay out some outfits. Yeah. I'm, guys, I'm going to open up. I, I've lost oh my, my style. God, this is like the longest clip. I've lost my style. I feel like no one on Instagram likes what I wear anymore. I don't like my outfits. Is it that deep? It's no, but oh. is it ever that deep? I feel like I've just lost my style. It might be five minutes late. Oh, we, we okay. Start. Well, you, it's literally ten minutes. It's a ten-minute walk for me. Um, so. yeah. So I'm going on a second date. Grace likes him. Oh my god, let's not. But well, this vlog won't be uploaded for like two weeks. So by then, by then, you'll probably it, be tinned off. You'll be tinned off. You. Yeah. <laughs> this is my uh, sixth date in Paris. That's crazy. It's gone really quick. If we're including, if we're including our double date, which we don't really include because it was so shite. <laughs> <laughs> like, can we call that a date? Here we are. But yeah, we're going for coffee, which I've never in my life been on a day date. Actually, yes, I have. My first ever date was a day date. Oh, yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. This is going to really help you know if you like them or not. Because, because I'm sober. You're sober. It's like not... An, everyone, like, looks better at night. True. And also, the romantic side of things, like, the kissing. I am it's not like, are you gonna kiss into in the PDA. Day? Like, I hate PDA. 
Maybe if like the sun is setting. I can't do that. You no, can have a coffee. But, okay, the sun is setting. The sun is setting at eight pm, and I'm meeting him at five. So, but on your last date, you were gone for about three hours. But that's different because it was drinks. Yeah. It's just a different vibe when you go for drinks. It goes on for longer. We've got a crepe. Whereas this, it's like, I know I'm going to be back for seven. I think later I'll be back at seven. Because yeah. like you have a coffee, you go on a walk and that's it. Walk. Things How does she say a walk like that? In the forest. But I'm really, I'm really intrigued to see it for the second time. Because as you guys know, I did go on three dates with someone. So that's quite, that that's quite a lot for us. Like normally we That was the most that dates far. I've ever done. And that was ended. And now this is my second date with this guy. And Grace is planning a date on Wednesday. A new guy. I wanted to try to get her out tonight. No, but me. I just don't feel fresh. But as we can tell, it's just not happening. And it would have been drinks. <laughs> it's just... In case you can't tell, she's I not can't, going. I can't drink anymore. Dating, guys. It's, it's draining. You have to really like them to go on a date. But also, I hate texting. So it's like, how do you know you like them? It's so much effort. That's what I find with dates, because you've got to get ready. And then it's also like holding conversation for like two hours. I'm just not, yeah, I, I just feel like it's it's draining. But also, I find it, you're not going to grow as a person. Unless you date. Or find a person. Unless you go on dates. I agree. And also, it is fun, isn't it? It's just a bit of fun. The, I think the most fun part about dating is when you're out on the weekend and you message them. And you're like, yeah, yeah you're like, no, what are you up to? When it's not there? actually going on the date with them. It's like seeing them in the club. Yeah. That's low-key more exciting. Or like, if you like, <laughs> like, for example, I've seen in public a few people I've matched with. <gasps> and it's been like really funny. Oh, it's so awkward. Because Harris is so small, like we bump into people. We've seen, no, on Thursday we were out with, this date Grace, this guy Grace has been on a date with and we saw another one of her hinge matches. Yeah, and he actually- did In the same club. Yeah, he didn't see, he like, we were planning a date and he never messaged. Which, we've both had that and I'm like, what, what, what is the point of arranging to meet someone and then just not, like, we both have had it where they've been like, okay, this Sunday, this time. I think it's And then Sunday it comes thing. to it and then no one messages. Because no one can be bothered on Sunday. Yeah, but it's like, that's really bad manners. Yeah, it is. And then he liked my story and I was like, um, um, but you aired me. Dating, hey? Hey, it's, Dating, it's a new hey. world for us. It's exciting though, we have friends coming and they've already put in their hinge Paris yeah, because they want to see- wanna meet French boys. They want to see the calibre of dating here. This is like a really long segment. God. I wonder if they're dating other people as well. Yeah, like how many dates a week do they go on? Or are they really- I'm gonna ask them that. that. Ask him. Just, I'm gonna be like, do you date like multiple just be like, people? how many? Because it's not even, I would if like, but I just don't have the energy. You could be like, oh, just be like, be honest. Like, oh no. <laughs> be honest, who are you? Be honest, you off your other homes. No, but it's just like, I find it interesting, like, because I personally don't have the energy to date multiple people. Like for me, one date a week is like enough. Oh, more than enough. <sighs> but then if you like them, you kind of have to see them within a week again. Yeah. No, but, but I mean like multiple people. Like, I wonder if, he's going on like a date next yeah. week. Like I just, I always wonder that like, how many people are you t are you dating? It's interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I would ask you, but try and ask him in a non-threatening way. Cause you don't want him to think like you cut off all your hoes if we've been dating. Oh no, I'll somehow get on the subject of dating and I'd be like, do you like, do you date multiple people? Like, because he's been single for a long time. I had this conversation with the one before this one and he was like, I can't date anyone else. I can't even speak to anyone else. And I'll speak to those other people. I was like, what about you? What was that? I can't. When we were on the date, he was like, I literally can't talk to other people. Like, I'm talking just to you. Imagine if I get stood up. No. Uh, Five minutes late. The mm. man is on his way. No worries. Also, the place we're going is actually shut. <laughs> and I haven't told <laughs> this him. This is the funny thing. I know it's shut. Like we say, every boy tries to drag us to Mon Mart. Mon Mart, it's like nice try. We're actually, actually going to Mon Mart on Tuesday. It worked for me because I got dragged there. Grace got dragged, but he was also paid for you to go. The thing is, an Uber to Mon Mart is actually really expensive. Like Forty euros. Was it? I think it's like miles. Mon Mart is miles. Away. It's like to go up this massive. It's like hill. half an hour drive. And every boy seems to want to drag us to Mon Mart. I think because they think it's romantic, but we're like, fuck that. We're not going Mon Mart. <laughs> I'm not fucking going, so I'm not telling him it's shut because I know he'll make me go I to I wonder Montmartre. if there's like a London equivalent of Montmartre or like a Manchester equivalent. <laughs> I'm not going. So literally, like, I'm not going to Montmartre. This guy doesn't live in Montmartre. Montmartre. He doesn't live there and he's like, we should meet. 
<laughs> I'm not doing it. Your guy didn't even live in Montmartre and he got you to Montmartre. <laughs> this is what I mean. I think they've got some sort of Fucking thing. Up. I think there's some sort of boy page about Paris that says Same. bring a girl to Montmartre this and she'll what, like fall in love. This is our theory. We think there's like a TikTok page Panties or something. Coming up. And it's like if you are gonna take a girl on a date, <laughs> take her to Montmartre. Because it is romantic. You can like see the whole of the city. There's like a wall of love. There's like whatever. It's like loads of shit to walk around. Yeah, like I get why it's like a romantic stop, but I am not going. Like low key, it's like our own. It's romantic for us too. No one else gets it. We like it. We love Mama. Yeah, but we like to go in the day. We like to go in the day. On our own terms. On our own terms. I don't want to. I'm scared I'm going to get like murdered in Mama. I feel like it has the energy where something can like shove you off the. Guys, I actually thought the guy was going to shove me off the. <laughs> he propped her on this ledge in Mama. Mama. Like, what the fuck? And he, she thought that was it. If I got propped on like the ledge, the I don't know what to do. I would literally be like, well, your jacket got pulled. Your oh jacket got grabbed. Oh my god, my jacket got grabbed. Imagine grabbing your jacket and shoving you across the ledge. <laughs> we will, we always say we'll tell you how the date goes, but we never We're going to really start say. like opening up more, I think. Yeah. Because the thing is, by the time this vlog goes up, I will either we can crop out be like Loki or like Loki in love. Oh, Loki be in love, or I'll never have seen this man again. Exactly. So by the time this goes up, because it's like two weeks, like we always feel like two weeks before. Yeah. So by then we can like gauge. Well, no. It's like, will he still be in the picture? Will he not? Will yeah. He, will there be a new man? Probably. There's probably gonna be some. The last vlog I was seeing thingy. Okay. Well, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. When I come back. Bye, guys. <laughs>